Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. At present, Israel's Ron drone forms the backbone of Indian Armed Forces. The tri services for a long time have been dependent on Israel Mates Searcher 2 and Heron UAVs for reconnaissance and snooping purposes. These drones are mainly used for ISR missions but has range limitation and are unarmed. This is the reason why India has launched Project Cheetah. Under this project, 90 Heron drones of tri services including Indian Air Force, Army and Navy were to be upgraded with the help of Israel. With all major import deals being put on hold or scrapped by Narendra Modi government, the Indian Air Force is now planning to go ahead with Project Cheetah under Make in India route where Indian defense manufacturers would arm the Israel Heron drones with strike capabilities. Now this approach makes perfect sense as it will give private companies an experience and exposure working with male UAVs and arming them. The new emerging private firms such as New Space have gained significant experience and knowledge in the UAV development and these opportunities will help them in future when Tapas enters into the mass production and it has to be armed. Adani Defense at the same time has also tied up with Elbit system for the production of male UAV such as Hermes. Now coming back to the project Cheetah, the initial estimate of this project was close to Rs 5000 crore for the upgrade of Heron drones. The idea was to integrate Heron drones with laser guided bombs, air to ground ammunitions and anti-tank guided missiles because at present India does not have any male armed UAVs. The upgrade also includes the capability of satellite navigation and equipping more advanced and specialized sensors. There were even possibilities of engine upgrade because in order to arm the drones, its payload capacity has to be increased. Now these upgrades, if goes as planned, will greatly improve the ISR capabilities of drones as it will allow them to be airborne for long duration and it will be able to take up long range missions. It will further enable the forces on the ground to get pinpoint intelligence about the hideouts in the areas where men have to be involved in operations and keeping an eye on enemy location from far distances. The armed forces would be able to control these drones through satellite communication systems as well. Now talking about the Heron drone capability or Heron Mark 1 drone capability, it is an unarmed aerial vehicle in medium altitude UV category which can carry up to 250 kgs of weight including a thermographic camera, airborne ground surveillance, visible light, radar systems etc. Now talking about made in Israel Heron UAV or Heron Mark 1 drone which is at present in service with Indian Armed Forces, it is a male UAV and has a payload capacity of up to 450 kilograms including a thermographic camera, airborne ground surveillance, visible light radar system, etc. The drone has multi-sensor capability, which means it can carry up to six of the sensors simultaneously, including EO, IR, LRF, laser designator, SAR, MPR, LNIT, comment, COM relay, scanners, and many more. It is also capable of returning back to the base autonomously in case of loss of communication and even under the adverse weather condition. Flying at a height of 30,000 feet, Heron provides its operator with real-time information on enemy battlefields by performing surveillance and target acquisition over large areas. Initially, the Heron UAV was deployed by Indian Air Force and was used for high-altitude land surveillance and maritime patrol missions as well. Now, it is being used by Army extensively along the LSE from Ladakh to Arunachal Pradesh. Army has also used Heron for target acquisition and artillery adjustment. The drone has line of sight mission radius of nearly 350 km and 1000 km with satellite control. It has a maximum speed of 270 km per hour with rate of climb of 2.5 m per second. It has impressive endurance of 45 hours at a maximum altitude of 30,000 feet. The Heron saw significant use during the Operation Cast Lead in Gaza between 2008 to 2009. During the deployment, each brigade combat team was assigned a UAV squadron for close support. A high degree of situational awareness were achieved by maintaining at least dozen of these UAV in flight over Gaza at all the times. 
this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector